Welcome to the presentation of how to write, learn, and remember the trigonometric table from 0 to 90 degree. All right. Uh, here are the respective ratios and the angles here, like sine 0 degrees, sine 30, sine 45, sine 60, sine 90, similarly tan 0, tan 30. So what is the value of them? All right. How to remember, how to write without any tricks and uh, anything. You know, you don't have to remember anything. In the previous one, what I had told you, I had told you to learn at least the all uh, ratio of sine. All right. But here I'm not going to tell you even to learn the sine. Nothing you have to remember. Just write the angles here at the first row. And in the one column, you write the trigonometric ratios. All right. And see what how we're going to do it. Simply start writing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in each box. All right. So 0 right here, 0. It's 30 right here, 1. Right here, 2. Right here, 3. Right here, 4. All right. And again, divide everything by 4. Let's divide everything by 4. OK okay okay and our next step is take the root of everything square root all right square root of this also square root of this also square root of this one also square root of this one also so you know zero over four that's zero and the square root of zero that's finally zero so sine zero equals to zero and now one over four so if you see here so finally what you'll get you'll get one over two all right because four is also the square of two and one is uh, itself the square of one so one over two is going to come outside so two times two so here you'll get one two times one and two times two so one it will come outside but two the square root of two it will be here all right and here see uh this root three will be as it is but four is the square root of two so two will come outside all right and here four over four you'll get finally one and the square root of one is one all right so here what you find you find the, all the uh, sine ratios you know from sine 0 to sine 90 degree see sine 0 that's 0 sine 30 degree that's 1 by 2 sine 45 degree that's 1 over root 2 all right and sine 60 degree that's root 3 over 2 and sine 90 degree that's 1 uh, in some countries uh, i have seen sine 45 like uh, that's the same thing by the way sine 45 degree we get here 1 over root 2 right and many people do rationalization of this so they multiply and divide by 2 so they get root 2 and 2 root 2 times root 2 that's 2 so root 2 over root 2 writing or you're writing 1 over root 2 both are same thing all right so it does not confuse in this and very very simple now you don't have to do anything you know you just copy and paste it how let's see here here you have one just copy this one into this box all right now you have here you have root 3 over 2 now root it, uh, write it here root 3 over 2 all right i mean uh the 90 value of sine is equals to the zero value of cos similarly 60 value of cos sine is 30 value of uh, cos and 45 value of sine will be equal with 45 value of cosine so it will be also one over root two similarly here now uh similarly uh, like see 45 or 45 like 90 was here 60 was here 45 was here so 30 will be here I means sine 30 and cosine of 60 will be same so it will be 1 over 2 and similarly sine 0 and cos 90 both are same that's 0 and now what is tangent the tan ratio will be just because uh, what you learned that tangent is the ratio of sine over cosine you know sine over cosine so just take one value from sine and take another value I mean numerator will be numerator will be sine and denominator will be cosine all right that's it so let's do it okay so sine zero is zero over zero so zero over uh, one that's zero tan one by two over one by uh, one by two over root three by two so it's going to be one over root three all right one over root two over one over root two that's going to be one because numerator and denominator both are same all right and now root three by two over one by two so it's going to be simply root three all right if you do it you'll get it i mean if you do like this uh, uh quite little space so um root three over two whole divided by one over two so this two and this two will cancel up and you will simply get here root three and now here 90 degree one over zero okay one over zero that's some undetermined value you know generally we give the uh, uh, here symbol uh, infinity symbol we generate uh, right here to represent it so, so anything over zero we don't know you know that's that's uh, undetermined value all right so that's why let's say infinity cosecant so cosecant you know we know that very well that uh, sine theta times cosec theta equals to one so cosec theta is going to be one over sine theta all right so that's why you're just going to write the reciprocal of that so cosec is just the reciprocal of this so 
it, it is zero, so one over zero, all right? So it's one over zero, all right? So one over zero, that's again, undetermined value, all right? Similarly, just reciprocal of this, reciprocal of sine, all right? Uh, okay, reciprocal of sine, that's two. Again, reciprocal of 45, that's simply root two. Reciprocal of 60, that's two over root three. Reciprocal of one, one over one, that's one, all right? And now for the uh, secant, oh my God, I haven't drawn a line. Okay, for the secant, uh, like see, sine was the reciprocal of cos x. Similarly, cos uh, reciprocal of cos is secant. So here, what are you gonna put? Sec is just reciprocal of one, one over one. That's one, all right. And reciprocal of thirty, that's root three over two. That is two over root three. Similarly, uh, for the forty-five, one over root two. So it's simply root two. And just reciprocal of this, one by two. That's two. And again here, zero, one over zero. That's again one over zero. You don't know. That's on some undetermined value, all right? Now, cotangent, just reciprocal of tangent, okay? And that's going to be uh, zero over zero. Again, that's undetermined value, all right? And one over root three, so it will be simply root three. So reciprocal of one, again, one. Uh, reciprocal of root three, that's going to be one over root three. And reciprocal of one over infinity, you know, one over infinity, that's zero, you know? Uh, you might have heard that uh, something over zero is infinity, but same thing, you know, if you turn like this, something over infinity going to be equal to zero. So that's the thing I used here. So this is how we write the all trigonometric value, you know. Look at here now. And one thing you need to keep in mind, see, always. Uh, these things, you know, like, I mean, f the very simple thing, what we did here. Uh, first, we write zero, one, two, three, four, first step. Second, divide by four, take the square root, and that's your value for the sign. And just... And now relations between the sine and cos. If it is, I mean, if the nine, I mean, sine value is increasing, think that cosine value is decreasing. And if cosine value is increasing, sine value will be decreasing between zero to ninety degree. All right. So see, sine zero will be equals to cos cosine ninety. Sine thirty equals to sixty. Uh, forty five, forty five, both are same. All right. So sine sixty will be equals to cosine of thirty, and uh, sine ninety will be equals to uh, cosine of one. Similarly, tan is simply the ratio of sine over cosine, so 0 over 1, that's 0, and 1 by 2 over, I mean, just to take the ratios, all right? And always after that, you know, take the reciprocal, because uh, cos cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, similarly, secant is the reciprocal of cosine, and cotangent is the reciprocal of tan. So keep that in mind and just, just uh, learn to remember or write. Like, this is just you need, you know, I will better tell you, uh, better suggest you to remember the trigonometric table, because that will be quicker and faster. But in case you forget, let's say you forget, and you want to be sure, then this is the way, this is the trick. You can apply anywhere, anytime. 